Solving the Rubik's Cube may seem a bit challenging at first, but once you've learned a few simple algorithms, you will be able to solve it no matter how scrambled it may be. In this video, I will show you how to complete the OLL stage of CFOP with only 10 simple algorithms. 10 algorithms seems like a lot, but many of them are quite similar. If you already know how to solve the cross and F12 stage of CFOP, but don't know what to do from there, this video is for you. After F12, we need to orient the last layer of the cube so that we have one full color on the top. In this video, I will focus on yellow as the last layer. What we need to do now is create a yellow cross with the four yellow edge pieces. Here I have the seven patterns the yellow cross can be in. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. Our goal is to create one solid yellow color at the top. After completing the F2L stage, you will encounter one of 57 patterns. This means 57 algorithms are needed for each case. Now thankfully, there is an easy way to do this with just 10 algorithms. After completing F2L, if you already have a cross, then great. But if not, there are only 3 patterns you can encounter. Here we have the bar with only 2 edge pieces. And in order to do the algorithm, we need to make sure the bar is horizontal, like this. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. Now here we see we have one of the patterns of the cross. Here we have another bar pattern. We know this because we only have two edge pieces in place. Again, we need to make sure we hold the bar horizontal to start the algorithm. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And now we have one of the patterns of the cross. Here is yet another bar pattern you may encounter. Again, only two pieces are in place. We hold it horizontal and we do the algorithm F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. Again, we see we have yet another cross pattern. Moving on to the second pattern you may encounter is the small v. When we see this pattern, place it at the bottom right corner. The algorithm for this one looks very familiar to the first one, just with a wide f. Small f, r, u, r prime, u prime, small f prime. Here we see one of the cross patterns again. Here we have another small v pattern. Again, place the small v at the bottom right. And we do the algorithm. Small f r u r prime u prime small f prime. Now we have one of the patterns of the cross. Now here's the third pattern. We call this one the dot. In order to do the dot algorithm, we can start from anywhere. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. Small f, R, U, R prime, U prime, small f prime. Here we have one of the patterns of the cross. Now if you were following closely, you may have realized that the dot algorithm was a combination of the first algorithm 
and the second algorithm combined. Here I will show you another dot scenario and we will follow the algorithm again. Here's the algorithm. F R U R prime U prime F prime. Here's that small v, now that algorithm. Small f R U R prime U prime small f prime. Let's start with this pattern. If you have the cross with only one corner piece in place, make sure you start from the correct side. The yellow piece should face you opposite the yellow block. Here is the algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. Now here we have the second pattern, which is exactly opposite to the first pattern. Here we have the cross and the yellow piece in place. Now the yellow is on the left. Therefore we start the algorithm from here. L prime U prime L U prime L prime U two L Here we have the third pattern which is a complete cross. Now we have headlights on both ends. And in order to do this algorithm, we start with the headlights facing us. Here is the algorithm. F R U R prime U prime. We do this three times. R U R prime U prime. And again, R U R prime U prime. Then F prime. The fourth pattern looks extremely similar to the first, except there are only two headlights. To do the algorithm, place the headlights facing left, like this, and we do R, U2, R2, U prime, R2, U prime, R2, U2, R. For the fifth pattern, we have a cross and two corner pieces facing out. To do the algorithm, we hold it like this. Small r, u, r prime, u prime, small r prime, f, r, f prime. Here we have the same pattern with headlights. We face the headlights towards us and we do this algorithm. R2 D R prime U2 R D prime R prime U2 R prime Here is our seventh and final pattern. Two corner pieces are missing, and in order to do the algorithm, we need to place the yellow piece on the right. Here's the algorithm. F prime L F R prime F prime L prime F R.
Learning these 10 algorithms will help you solve any OLL case. But if you are interested in speed solving, then 57 algorithms would be better. Here I'll show you why. Here is an example of the beginner's method solving cross, F2L, and OLL.